welcome to the very first episode of South Korea series. For those who are new to this channel, hi, I am Dr. Madhu Mishra. I am a theoretical physicist and currently I am a postdoc at Asia Pacific Center for Theoretical Physics in Pohang, South Korea. And today's episode, I am going to talk about how I got this postdoc. So I joined as a postdoc at APCTP in November 2023. But the story really begins over a year ago in November 2022 when I was in ICER writing my thesis and applying for postdoc. So when I was applying for postdoc, I was also writing to professors who I thought are doing the same research that I am interested in. So I was emailing them individually, showing my uh, interest in their project or in their work. And one of the professor was Professor Imtak Jion at APCTP. He works on supergravity localization and black hole thermodynamics. I wrote to him explaining my interest in his work and also told him that these are the projects that I have worked on. I gave him my research publications and I also gave him a project that we can work on together, a plausible project that in future we can work on or collaborate on and I asked him if he has a postdoc position available or if he can fund for my postdoc research. He replied back to me which is very rare in scientific community they don't reply back to you often but gladly he replied back to me but he told me that he doesn't have a funding to fund for my postdoc research and he does not have a position available. But what he can do for me is he can invite me to come to APCTP and present my work. It was a great opportunity so I immediately said yes. And this was in January when I came to South Korea for the first time. I gave two talks about two of my work. One was from Dilliton Wild Multiplet in Supergravity and other was black hole thermodynamics in ADS supergravity. I gave two talks and I stayed here for 20 days. And I, during those 20 days, I talked to him and other professors as well. We discussed some future projects and that's about it. But during my stay here, I talked to other researchers at APCTP and I got to know about a YST program young scientist training program in that program you can apply for postdoc as a individual new researcher and if you like you can also work with some of the jrg leader at apctp and also some of the researchers in posttech which is a institute nearby to apctp and you can collaborate uh, with professors outside apctp outside south korea and within south korea this was a great learning but this year's position was already filled in and the applications were closed. The next year uh, application started in May. So I waited for till May and I applied for YST position in May. So this is the timeline when I applied and then I waited for getting shortlisted. It took a long time but after a long waiting in July I got the news that I've been shortlisted for the interview uh, for YST program and uh, this was in July end and the interview was supposed to happen in August or 1st of August then I waited and waited and waited I they said that they will be replying back in a week uh, with the result of the interview and one week has passed and I now I'm getting hyper and I'm getting very tensed, very anxious about the results. And after 10 days, I thought maybe I have not been selected again after the interview. But uh, on August 16, I got the good news that I've been selected for YST program. And that's how I came here. But what I learned from this experience that me visiting APCTP and contacting with Professor Imtak had played a great role. Although it was not official, but I know that knowing that I've been in 
collaboration with Professor Imtak before I joined postdoc position has helped my application. They looked at my application carefully. Uh, they interviewed me with interest. They asked me about my future collaboration and if I have similar interest with any of the JRG leader here. And I told them that I visited in January and I had talked with Professor Imtak and I have interest, similar interest with him and we can work on some project. And I told them about the project that we were discussing at that point. And that's how I got selected and now I'm here. I will talk about the offer if you are interested in some future videos but that is how I got my postdoc position and if you talk if I have to talk about my CMI position which was in Chennai Mathematical Institute in India actually uh, the procedure was similar I got the CMI postdoc position in the same way so I contacted Professor Amitabh that I am interested in his work and if he has any position, he could let me know. And if he has any project, he can tell me that we can collaborate on. So we first collaborated on a project because I was still finishing up my PhD. And uh, before I completed my PhD, I already had one work with him, which we published in Journal of High Energy Physics. And then he offered me a postdoc position in Chennai Mathematical Institute. So both the postdoc I got from the similar procedure by contacting the professor first and then applying for the postdoc so that they know that I exist and that I have a understand, better understanding of my project and that I can actually pursue uh, independent research in their institute. So this already uh, this always helps if you can write the professor and tell them individually that you are interested in his work and if you can convey or uh, portray that you can uh, pursue research independently as well it always helps so i hope this video helped you writing your application or uh, going in a direction that will help you find a postdoc position and if you have any questions, please write it down in the comment section below. I am taking off from social media, so I will not be replying back on Instagram. But you can write it down in the comment section. I will get back to you. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And see you in my next episode. Till then, bye-bye.